What is up, guys? We're here again. Robert, crazy Robert. I'm so excited. Big three USD Dream Machine Pro, baby. I know they've been some problems online setting it up. And there's different forms. They've had a lot of firmware updates since then, a lot of fixes, and I'm excited. I'm so excited to get this one. I've been wanting this one so bad. I'm excited. I want to open it up. It's going to be so beautiful. I'm going to go get my uh, knife and we'll open this sucker up. I have watched almost all the videos on it online. Different country videos, Germany, all of them. I'm excited. Here we go. So, take the knife, put that away. Dangerous. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what's in the first box. Um, huh. Oh. I wish they had these things just pop out easy. There we go. Okay, the rack mount kit. Brackets for the rack, which I'll be putting on it. Power cable, ooh, nice. Instructions. I'm not gonna do it the phone way. I'm gonna do it the computer way. Uh, direct connection, you have to set it up. I don't like setting up anything with the phone. It just seems jank to me to do it with the phone. I don't care how easy you Futuristic, you know what? I'd rather do it on a computer and be able to dive and direct connect. I just can't stand it. My modem has um, four other WANs on it, so I'll be able to put this in and still keep my other network running until I get this set up the way I want to and kind of dabble in it and make sure everything. And I'll bring over piece by piece all my equipment, and, we'll, and once I get that one piece set up, then I'll move to the next piece. So my wife doesn't kill me that the internet's down. I know that there's nothing to do, <laughs> nothing's working. All right, let's get this sucker out. Oh, it just slides right out of there. That's it. All right. All right, guys, let's take this off and let's take a look at her. Okay. And this. I will keep on until I set this up well. Oh, that's beautiful. So let's just open up this. And then let's see how they say it closes. Oh, okay. So some people said with this that if you close it all the way in, that fall in, you won't be able to do this, but it works. No, I guess it just depends on your unit. It's all the way in there. All the way down, and that yeah, closes fine. No problem. I love it. Comes right out. Three and a half inch and a 2.5 inch SSD. Awesome possum right there. Oh, you can see the fan right there too that would be blowing on it to blow out the hot air from the hard drive. Right down in the center. All the way in again. Look, it's all the way in. Look, let's just show you. Look, I'm just gonna let it drop in. Can't go anymore. Done. I like it. This is plastic. This doesn't have to be open too much, so it doesn't matter, anyways. Let's see if it comes out. Any rattle? A little because, you know, the hard drive's not on it. I can wait down a little bit. But yeah, it's awesome. SFP Plus connectors, 10 gig. Wan, Wan, Lan, Lan, switch, uh, back here, and the air on the sides, no air on the sides, you never know. This is for the power supply, UPS for it. How are these coming in? Let me just so see how this is in there. Oh man, these are really, oh there we go, okay. Oh, I like it. 
Awesome. So it's like a 24 pin almost, like for the PC, a power supply, 24 pin almost. Oh, what the cable looks like. UPS off and on indicator light. Okay, cool. But it's on the back. It would be cool if there was one on the front too, so you don't have to pull your back out, you know? Then you'd know. But either way, you'd know your UPS is on, anyways. Your UPS would tell you. So, I mean, maybe this is just an indicator light saying that, hey, this thing detects the UPS that you plug in the back here. Maybe that's what I would think. Ooh, there's a power plug for it. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I'm so dang excited. This just looks amazing. Nice and heavy. Let's see if there's any flex on top. No, perfect. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Yes, I'm excited. You know what? I love Ubiquity. This is going to be very exciting for me. My first Ubiquity setup for my house. Awesome. People keep saying, this isn't enough for the DDR, but they also have the bigger one that you can hook it up to that has four of them on it, four 2.5 and 2.5 with drive bays on it, so you can do that too. This is just to get you started. It's an all-in-one unit. Doesn't mean you can't upgrade this unit by connecting the bigger stuff. This is just to get, hey, you can still have good stuff. Might not have all the cool add-on and bigger and better stuff, but guess what? This is gonna get you started. I mean, it is awesome. That is awesome. Who knows? Maybe with the other one, you can set the back of this drive on the other server or whatever that you have. You might be able to boot into this and set it up as a backup to back up this drive on another NAS or something. So that is awesome. I love it. All right, guys. Peace out. I'll let you guys know if I have any problems. Setting this up. Rock on and have a rock and rolling day. Please subscribe and comment if you like the video. This isn't too in-depth one because guess what? There's a lot of these online, so I'm not a professional, professional network guy, so I'm gonna dabble in this before I show you all the ins and outs of what I like to do on it. And a learning curve for me too, so rocking and rolling.